Competency number 15, practical tutorial number 15, how to change frequency. What we're going to do in this one is pile up three or four competencies in the one air contact. And that's what will generally happen during your assessment. If you make an on-air contact and give a signal report, then and you do it properly, the assessor will tick you off when he comes to do that competency. So rather than just pretend we're two amateur stations on air and we're going to change frequency, for this competency we're going to go through the entire procedure of checking if the frequency is use, in use, that's competency 10. Uh, we're going to establish contact and then after that we're going to change frequency uh, to a new frequency because there's noise on the frequency or something like that. So this will be a very good uh, consolidatory tutorial for a number of the competencies in the practical. Let's have a look at the competency first. Number 15, change to another frequency. The Q code for that is QSY. You do not have to know what QSY means. You do have to know, we'll see later, what the Q code is and what it's used for, but you do not, you're not obliged to use the Q code during your practical assessment. The method, by use of amateur, an amateur radio station after making a contact with another station, demonstrate the correct protocol for changing to another frequency. May be completed as part of another element of competency requiring on-air operation. The performance criteria, the candidate on-air success, successfully establishes a contact and changes frequency to another frequency, re-establishes contact on that frequency with the contact station. For that purpose, I'm going to get uh, Lorraine pretending to be VK4FABC and we're actually going to do that on air and I'm going to put a slide on screen of what we're doing but before we do that, I'm going to go through it step by step with you. Okay. We've got two amateur stations. Lorraine is VK4FABC and I'm VK2DQ. Lorraine is going to try and contact me on amateur radio. To do that, she's going to have to make a transmission. She's going to make a transmission on 145.5 megahertz and she's going to complete competency 10 by making sure that frequency is not in use before she does anything else. So she, she announces her call sign, this is VK4 FABC, is this frequency in use? And until she's sure, she might do that one or two or even three times. After that, she'll call me, VK2DQ, this is VK4 FABC, over. And she'll call me until I answer. When I do, Answer, I will say VK4FABC, this is VK2DQ, good day Lorraine, blah blah blah. Uh, she, she answers me, VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC, and she gives me a signal report. Then I reply to her, VK4FABC, this is VK2DQ, and I give her a signal report, and I also tell her that I've got noise, and I can't hear it too well on this frequency. So I reply, VK, she, she replies, <coughs> oh, I've already asked her, can she find a new frequency? So she replies to me, VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC, okay, Ron, please stand by while I find a better frequency. And then I announce VK2DQ standing by. What VK4FABC will do now is move off and try and find a new frequency. She moves up to 145.55 MHz and she announces this is VK4FABC, is this frequency in use? She can do that one to three times until she's sure that the frequency is clear. She then comes back to 145.5 and calls me. VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC, do you copy, Ron? 
Notice she asks if she can hear me first rather than just tell me to change frequency. I had noise, so it wouldn't be wise for her to come back and just say change frequency. She's come back, called me, and making sure that I can hear her. I answer, VK4FABC, this is VK2DQ, Let, yes Lorraine, go ahead. She answers, VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC, please change frequency to 145.55 MHz. OK Lorraine, VK2DQ clear. V and then Lorraine says, VK4FABC clear. So we're now clear of the frequency 145.5 MHz and we're moving to the new frequency 145.55 MHz. It's Lorraine's job, she's in charge of the change of frequency, it's Lorraine's job now to call me. VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC, do you copy Ron? VK4FABC, this is VK2DQ, copy you, strength 8, with no noise Lorraine. So we've got a good contact now. VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC, copy you, strength 7, and loud and clear. So everyone's happy and communicating, and at this point we could have a conversation. We're not going to because we're just going to do this element of competency, so right now we're going to say goodbye to each other and clear the frequency. VK4FABC, this is VK2DQ. OK, Lorraine, glad to do the on-air test with you. Catch you later. VK2DQ, out. Lorraine replies, thanks, and catch you later on, VK4FABC, out. Sounds a lot, but it's pretty simple. Remember to use your call sign last, and we'll go through this on air now as a demonstration for you. Might make it a little bit clearer. This is VK4 FABC. Is this frequency in use? This is VK4 FABC. Is this frequency in use? Over. VK2DQ. This is VK4 FABC. Over. VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC, over. VK4FABC, this is VK2DQ. Good day, Lorraine, over. VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC. Hi, Ron, you are strength 5 and you sound clear. Can you copy me OK? Over. VK4FABC, this is VK2DQ. Hi Lorraine, thank you for the report. You are strength 4, but this frequency is very noisy. Could you find us another one? Over. VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC. OK, Ron, please stand by while I find a better frequency. Over. VK2DQ standing by. This is VK4FABC. Is this frequency in use? Over. This is VK4FABC. Is this frequency in use? Over. VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC. Do you copy, Ron? Over. VK4FABC, this is VK2DQ. Less, yes, Lorraine, go ahead. Over. VK2DQ, this is VK4FABC. Please change frequency to 145.550 MHz. Over. 
OK Lorraine, VK 2DQ clear. VK4, FABC clear. VK 2DQ, this is VK 4 FABC. Do you copy, Ron? Over. VK 2DQ, this is VK 4 FABC. Do you copy, Ron? Over. VK 4 FABC, this is VK 2DQ. Copy your strength 8 with no noise, Lorraine. Over. VK2DQ, this is VK4ABC. Copy you strength 7 and loud and clear. Over. VK4FABC, this is VK2DQ. OK, Lorraine, glad to do the on-air test with you. Catch you later. Cheers for now. VK2DQ out. Thanks and catch you later, Ron. For VK4 FABC out. Change the battery, please. Well, there you have it. <coughs> that's <coughs> excuse me. That's all there is to competency 15. That's the hardest competency in the assessment, I believe. But we did more than what was required in that simulated on-air contact. We actually made contact, we gave a signal report, and we changed frequencies. So that single competency, the way we did it, knocked over at least three competencies, probably four competencies. So play that over. You might want to print that if you've got screen capture. Uh, most uh, versions of Word have got a screen capture uh, and you might want to print that or just listen to it over and over until you're comfortable about the procedure. VK4FABC was a little bit nervous and dropped a letter out of her call sign. Uh, the assessor will be reasonable about things like that. If you f fluff up a little bit, he's not going to be too overly concerned because uh, when you get your own call sign, you're going to be more familiar with it than using a call sign that you were given a couple of minutes ago. All right, that's the, the end of uh, competency number 15, probably the, the hardest one in the whole lot. Cheers for now. This is Ron VK2DQ.